Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today's project is going to be making a Christmas present for my brother. Um, so, you know, when you're bored and you're sitting on the toilet and you're on Pinterest, because, you know, what else are you going to do? Um, and you see like those cool like lamps that are like outlets with a lamp out of the top of it. That's what we're making today. Um, this is totally not my idea. Uh, I watched, uh, or I was like I said, I was on Pinterest, saw the thing, thought that was cool. I want one, and it was a link to one on Etsy, and it was like eighty bucks. Um, so I figured, well, hell, I can make my own. So I hit the uh, Home Depot up today and bought a bunch of stuff, and we're going to see if we can make this work. Um, I'm sure I've forgotten some component um, that I'm going to need for this, um, but we'll figure it out as we go. And when I figure out what it is that I did forget, I'm going to have to go get that. So let's get started. All right, these are going to be the main components. Um, what I have is a four inch two gang um, steel electrical box that is gonna be the heart of the lamp. And I bought some um, black iron uh, components uh, to make you know the stand part. And the cool thing about this is going to be the USB uh, charger outlet so it's a, a standard two uh, two unit outlet but it has um, two spots where you can plug in a USB cable so you can charge phones and all kinds of stuff without having to have the like the brick thing um, and it's also gonna have a switch for the light so when you plug this in it'll be powered so that the outlet has power all the time, and then there'll be a switch to turn the light on and off. Um, so I have a switch someplace else. Um, so let's see. The trick is gonna be getting, so I bought three quarter inch um, pipe. Because I want to use that, um, but it may not fit. So what I'm going to try to do is I have to knock out one of the holes or two of the holes, and I'm hoping that the three-quarter inch uh, national pipe thread will just fit in the hole created by the knockout. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to do some filing to get this to fit. Um, let's, let's get everything opened up. So the other thing I did was I bought a inch and a quarter flange instead of a three quarter inch floor flange because I wanted the base to be a little bit bigger. Um, the three I did I bought the uh, three quarter as well because I may make another one of these and if I can't get the three quarter inch thing to work I've got spare parts but the uh, the inch and a quarter is like three quarters of an inch larger in diameter, so it'll make it a little bit more stable. So I've got the flange, and I have a bushing that goes from inch and a quarter to three quarter. So it'll th thread in here, maybe. So that'll be the base. That'll sit on top like that. Then I've got another nipple that'll come out the top, and then I have to configure the uh, the lamp part itself. Um, and I think once I get it all assembled, then I can go about cutting the uh, lengths of wire that I'm going to need to wire, like the lamp and stuff. Uh, what I may do 
is, well, I'll probably just figure that out as I go. I'm winging this. Um, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to punch out these uh, knockouts. And like I was saying, I'm really hoping that this three quarter inch nipple will just screw into that knockout. Probably won't. Yeah. Nope. Alright, I'm going to have to get uh, a filing. I'll, uh, I've got a round file, so what I'll do is I'll just embiggen this hole until the, uh, the nipple screws into that. Hopefully that'll uh, not take too long. able to file the knockout holes uh, to embiggen them so I could get these nipples in here so that's done and I bought a univer universal cover plate so it's got GFCI sized holes but it comes with you know different size plate covers so I can put a single pole switch in here as well uh, but I had to I had to modify both um, both the outlet and the switch. I had to cut off um, the little ears here because it wouldn't fit inside this uh, cover plate. So I did that. Just used some uh, side cutting pliers to do that. Honey, you are right in the way. I know, I know. So what I'm working on now is just trying to get all my parts organized and uh, figure out what I need. <laughs> and she's back. Yeah, does that feel nice? Rubbing your face on that hard metal box? Does that feel good? Yeah? Okay, honey. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, I've got some bare copper uh, wire for grounds. I've got, I've got some black insulated um, for, for, a <laughs> for a jumper between the switch and the outlet. Um, and I'm going to use an extension cord, uh, a junky old extension cord I got from uh, my grandfather for, um, you know, for plugging into the wall. So I'll have the extension cord will get wired into the uh, USB switch, and then I'll jump over, I'll jump power from this to um, to the switch for the light, and then I'll wire the light to the switch. Um, I'm not an electrician. Um, this is not an instruction video on how to wire outlets or switches. Um, in fact, uh, you, I may do something, you know, that is not to code or whatever, but code varies depending on where you are anyway, so, um, don't follow my instruction on this. In fact, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to put it together, and I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to show the wiring. Um, I'm just going to do it. No, Remy. Oh! <laughs> Alright, fine. What are you doing, Cat? He's like, no, what are you doing? Oh, 
What, you don't want any coffee? So I've got my extension cord cut off. Got a nice long length here. It's about, I don't know, nine feet roughly. And you can hear my lovely wife shuffling around overhead, talking to the cats. I'm going to use this block of ash um, as a base and what I want to do is route the wire like for the plug down and out the back so I've got a Forstner bit here in my drill press and I'm going to found the center of the block and I'm going to uh, drill this out and then I'll stand the block on end and I'll drill down this way through into that routed out center. That way I can push the cord through this hole and then pull it up through into the lamp itself. And I've, I've got the, um, the table on the drill press adjusted to a height so that when I, when I reach the, the end of the travel on the quill, it's at the depth that I want it to. So all I have to do is drill. I don't have to worry about going all the way through. And I'm just going to check my speeds for a portion of a bit, inch and a quarter, through hardwood, 250 it says. This uh, drill press doesn't go that slow, so I'm going to make it go as slow as it will go and then we'll just have to be careful. Ta-da! There we go. There's our, our hole. And then what I'll do is I'll decide which face is nice. That's the nice face. So this will be the back. And now I'll just drill down. None of that was in the frame, was it? Ooh. So I think this is the nicest face. So I want this to be the front of the base. So that'll make this the back. So what I'll do is I'll just mark and drill down through so that I can run the uh, cord through that. All right, I've got, uh, I've got a 3 8 inch drill bit in here now, and that's uh, just big enough to uh, snake the uh, extension cord through that hole into here. Um, and I've actually got a nice set of um, vintage Cleveland twist drill uh, woodworking bits that I got, so I'm gonna use that. This is the first time I've gotten to use them, so I'm kind of excited, because I'm weird like that. So. Okay. And uh, so, this hole here comes out in the bottom of that hole down in there. So now I can snake my wire through there. And uh, I think that'll make a nice a nice base. It should make it the lamp a little bit more stable also. Okay. Um, so as you can see I've got the flange mounted to the base that I just drilled these holes in and I've got the extension cord uh, pushed up through it and now um, 
I'm going to start kind of assembling things. Um, yeah. So let's take the uh, bushing here. Put that on here. Here's the base with the flange mounted, the bushing, and then the uh, three inch nipple screwed into that. And here is the uh, hot neutral and ground from the extension cord poking up through. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to take I'm going to take this back off um, and start working on wiring the. Uh, the outlet and the switch in this separate. I just wanted to kind of get it installed just so I can get kind of close on where I need the wire, where how far I need to feed this in so I can pull it up and out. So I'll bring you guys back once I have it all wired up. Okay, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, I got all excited because I wanted to start wiring the outlet and the switch, but what I really should do is assemble the lamp itself in its entirety first, that way I know what lengths of wire I need to make the connections properly. Um, so what I have currently is the lamp with just an open three quarter inch pipe. And in order to affix the lamp the light itself to the top of that, uh, I'm going to uh, put a cap on the pipe, and I have the cap in this drill press vise here. I drill a hole in it, and then I've got this um, like lamp kit, all thread stuff, and some nuts, and what I'll do is I'll put that through there, put a couple of nuts on it, and then this will f um, thread into the bottom of the, the light fixture, and then I can screw the whole thing together and then I can figure out how much wire I need to wire the thing. So the first order of operations is to drill the hole in the cap and I'm going to lubricate just, you know, okay, let me readjust and then I'll, you know, bring it back. That didn't go as planned. So this, uh, this malleable iron is soft and the, what happened was the drill bit, as it went all, finally made its way all the way through, it caught and it tried to grab the uh, cap and because it was mounted in a vise, it lifted the whole contraption up. So in the future, it probably would be smart to use the little mounting tabs to mount this on the table so that it can't do that. Um, drill press is fine. But I should probably try to clean that hole out because I can see it's kind of nasty. So there's the cap with a hole in it. So now what I can do is take this all thread and 
<laughs> the hole is just a little small. All right, so I'm going to embiggen this hole a little bit, just enough to get this through there, and uh, and then I'll assemble this and I'll put it on the, the lamp and I'll bring it back. So close. Wait. God damn. Oh. That might work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's going. There we go. So. So here it is, here's the cap with the all-thread in it. I'll put a little nut on the bottom side and then I can screw the uh, the light fixture to this end. So let me put that together for you. Okay, I got the uh, got the cap and the light fixture itself mounted to the rest of the structure, the lamp, and here's the a cord and now I can start figuring out how to wire all this together. Um, so obviously I'll have to cut several feet off of this um, and then I can wire everything together and then we can plug it in and see if it lets the smoke out. Um, hopefully this will only take me, I don't know, 10 minutes. Um, but again, I'm not an electrician so might take me 11. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put this all together and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Okay gang, moment of truth. I don't hear sizzling, arcing, or sparking. I don't smell that mysterious acrid blue smoke smell, so that's good. Let's see what happens when we Turn the light on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the light switch works. What can I plug in? Let's plug in the drill press. Behind you. Well, as you can see, I'm a genius. I made it work. I saw a picture on the interweb and I turned it into reality. Anyways, uh, the goal here, where'd I put this? Um, is either he can, the recipient of this gift, can either use this uh, shade to direct the light up if he doesn't like it in his face. The uh, LED thing can be kind of annoying to stick like in your field of view all the time. So if he goes like this, it will uh, illuminate the ceiling and not his eyeballs, uh, which he may prefer. If not, he can take that cover thing off and see the bare bulb. Um, so this is. Uh, this is a lot of fun, actually. I'm definitely going to make another one of these um, because I like this so much. Um, I'm jealous that I don't have one. And that doesn't seem fair. You know, I went to all the trouble of making the darn thing. I should have one myself. Um, so I, uh, I hope he likes it. This was a fun project. Um, this is definitely something um, that anyone with mediocre uh, electrical skills could put together. Just wire the outlet to a switch to a light. Um, white to white, black to black, green to green, you'll be okay. Maybe I won't give it to him. Maybe I'll just keep it. No, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Um, and with that, this video is over. Um, I got all this stuff at the Home Depot. Um, I don't remember how much it cost me. I mean, the uh, 
the outlet itself was like 21, 22 bucks. Um, this work lamp was like eight bucks. This switch I had, uh, but I looked, they're like 70 cents a piece. Um, the wire, the extension cord I had, the wood I had. So uh, it's probably 50 bucks worth of materials. Um, I would say at least if you didn't have, if you had to buy like an extension cord, um, that'll set you back another 10 bucks. Um, I was actually surprised at how expensive the, um, the flange and the bushing was. It was like eight bucks, eight or nine dollars for the flange and like five bucks for the, the bushing. Um, you could do this with like smaller uh, pipe. You could do it like with a half inch stuff as opposed to three quarter. But I think the three quarter looks better like proportionally. Um, so I think three quarter is the right size. Uh, you could definitely go bigger. Um, like if you could find a box with like a one inch size knockout, uh, you, you could probably do one inch. That would be cool. Um, again, just because the pipe would be more substantial looking, it would have more heft, and I think that would look cool. Yeah, I think this will make a cool desk lamp. Uh, you know, he can plug in his cell phone and his wireless smoke shifter and that sort of thing. Um, and he can charge his laptop on his desk. He doesn't have to fumble around. I don't know. It'll be cool. I think. I think it's really cool. I'm gonna make one for me. I probably won't make a video of that unless I do something different, um, which I may do. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for sticking around, watching this. Um, I saw this on Pinterest. Um, I think it's just like USB charger lamp DIY pipe. Those are those would be good keywords to search if you're looking for information on this. Um, I found one for sale on Etsy for like 80 bucks, which is probably a fair price if you just want it because you know you got. 50 bucks in material here, plus, I don't know, it took me two trips to the hardware store and uh, a solid hour of figuring it out and putting it together. So, you know, if you were going to buy one from somebody, I think 80 bucks is fair. Honestly, the hardest part of this was getting the pipe to thread into uh, the box. Um, I uh, Filing it took a while. If I had a three-quarter inch NPT tap, I would have just tapped the hole because it was undersized to begin with, so that I could have cut threads into the into the box. That would have made it easier. Um, one, this section of pipe, actually both nipples are um, not cross-threaded, but they didn't go in when they when the thread caught. It didn't go in perfectly straight, so uh, the box is actually tilted back a couple degrees, and this is like left two degrees it's not perfectly straight but most people will never know that um, I shouldn't have told you that now you know anyways now I'm just rambling um, regardless fun project I really hope he likes it I'm sure he will uh, you could totally do this at home definitely and you don't have to have a drill press I know I used a drill press uh, you don't have to if you you can do it with a hand drill a cordless drill, you know something like that uh, There's a lot of different ways you could do it um, Check out Pinterest look at it figure out you, you can do all kinds of crazy things you could do like a, a T coming off of this and you could have you know one Light on either side so you could do multiple lights there. You can get pretty creative with these. and I think they're really cool um, So Anyways, uh, this video will probably come out on or around Christmas. Uh, we celebrate Christmas in my family, so uh, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. For those of you who celebrate something else or don't celebrate at all, I hope you have a great day. And uh, we'll see you next time. <sighs> Sit rep. I don't like it. I, uh, the more I looked at it, the less I liked it. The, 
upside down light thing. Um, just wasn't, I didn't like it. So, what I've done is I've got another, uh, some more lamp parts, and I'm going to put a thing on it so you can actually put like a shade, a normal lampshade on it. Um, so I have to take this apart a little bit. In order to do that, I won't bother showing you that, but I'm just going to swap these parts out and, uh, and then I'll throw a shade on it and uh, that'll be better. Alright, I got the uh, thing swapped out. That can, so, uh, boom. Now I can throw a lampshade on there, like so. That's nice. Not this lampshade, this is a shitty lampshade. Um, but, some lampshade. And, uh, that'll be better. So if you're still with me, thanks. You must be family. Um, I don't know. These are cool light bulbs, but they're still bright enough that you don't really want to stare at it, so I, I struggle. I struggle with these, because they're still, you know, not something you actually want to stare at on your desk. Um, so I think a lampshade is is a good call. Um, I'll have to f try to find a cool lampshade. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.